you know how many turtle species live in North Carolina? See how many you can name in the comments of this video, and I'll give you the answer at the end. Hi, I'm Jolie with Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation Nature Centers. This is an eastern mud turtle. This turtle is one of the residents at Latta Nature Center in Huntersville, although he'll be moving soon to the new facility when we open Quest. In this video, we'll learn about some of the adaptations that help mud turtles to survive in their habitats. You can identify this species by its tiny size. Usually they are less than five inches in length. The top shell or carapace is smooth and golden brown. The plastron, the underside of his shell, has two hinges. These help him to close it up when he's scared and wants to hide. Eastern mud turtles prefer to live in forest and wetlands and shallow, slow-moving water. They spend a lot of time on land and buried in mud. Let's take a look at a few of the adaptations that help them to survive in this type of habitat. One neat adaptation that mud turtles have, and other aquatic turtles, is the placement of their nostrils right on the tip of their nose. This allows them to take a breath while remaining mostly hidden underwater. Although they are considered aquatic, mud turtles are not great swimmers. Take a look at the shape of his body and you'll see why. Mud turtles have dome shells instead of a wide flat shell like other aquatic turtles. The shape is really helpful for burrowing in the mud, but it really doesn't make them good swimmers. Think of it this way. If you want to float in the water, do you curl your body up like a cannonball or do you spread your arms and legs wide? A wide flat shell is really helpful for turtles for swimming and he doesn't have it. You can see he also has little feet rather than the wide webbed feet that sliders, cooters, and snapping turtles have. These feet are adapted for crawling along the bottom of a stream and not for paddling. Mud turtles are omnivores. They do most of their eating in the water. They eat arthropods, like crustaceans and insects, worms, fish eggs, and even some plant materials. Since they rely so much on wetlands for their food, during times of drought, when those wetlands might dry up, mud turtles can go into a dormant state called estivation. This is kind of like hibernating in that they can slow down and conserve their energy, but it happens during hot dry times instead of cold winter months. So how many turtle species were you able to name? You probably thought of a box turtle, a snapping turtle, maybe a yellow belly slider. There are actually 20 different turtle species that make North Carolina its home. If you're having trouble naming them all, don't forget we have five species of sea turtles that nest in the Outer Banks. I hope you learned something interesting about the mud turtle today. If you want to make sure these turtles have healthy populations for generations to come, here are three things you can do. Number one, preserve wetlands and their surrounding forests. Number two, help turtles cross the roads safely. And number three, make sure to leave wild turtles in the wild. I'm Jolie with Mecklenburg County Park and Recreation. Thanks for watching.